owners and custodians of the land. And and whilst it seems that we are still seeing these these uh, unbalanced people doing their worst, there seems to be increasing evidence that they know that uh, their time is coming up and that um, it, it is going to be just a matter of time as people wake up. So it, it, it's all happening because of what you're doing and everyone's doing. So thank you for what you're doing. Well, um, getting back to it, there, there is a lot of things happening. I have a lot of people listening, but I, what I'm doing is instead of hitting, hitting the calls, because they, they don't, they are. They have moved into a movement which is called freemanship, and I keep on telling them, "Well, yeah." And what I'm doing is, Ron sent me uh, a few things, and, and and what I'm doing is I'm I'm turning around and turning it over to them, and, and instead of going online or hearing it that way, so you have more supporters than you think. Mm-hmm. Because right right now, everybody in in Canada and up near the border on this side, because it's basically American Canada right there. There's big freemanship. Uh, movement going on, and they're now they're now not, they're not hitting the phone calls, you know, which I told them would be fine, but they're afraid to because believe it believe it or not, they are they are taking a real beating on everything. Mm. I mean, um, they're locking down all their assets because they they all have houses paid for, and it's you know they they are a true freeman. They have they owe nothing. Mm. And they are being their assets are being locked down in banks and everything else. So, um, and they're afraid they're afraid to they're afraid to like do anything in public right now because you know it's bad enough. Uh, my friend, which uh, just got his assets uh, released to him again, so what he's doing is switching everything over to uh, copper and silver and whatever he can get his hands on, so he, so mm-hmm. that they can't just come in and grab assets again. Because they don't do the raids on the house, but there has been some there has been some raids in uh, Quebec. Yeah. Okay, but they're they're stopping that now because there's there's a lot of awareness because they got they got a, a few cameras in on the deal when it was going down and um, there was commentary and everything else. And then I'm trying to get it through Manitoba to have it on the native uh, on the native work network. There's a there's a native radio network. I'm trying to get it in there and let them show them what's going on. But they they basically understand and, and they are now they understand and and I, as I told them you know if you you know once you give us all all the concepts come in and join. Well, I think and the song lines that the and I and I did promise you and it's been a few weeks that I promised that I would show you. We all have different skills, and one skill for me is is being able to help in terms of architecture. Uh-huh. But the architecture of the song line uh, to allow all the nations to find their place at the at the feast and find their place at this important time is so important. So I've taken what you've given me, and I've taken what I have read and know and, and pray. And I'm going to come back to you with an architecture, an idea of how this can help in spreading the word, particularly for the song lines, because the song lines being celebrated is the the most important event coming up at the end of the year and next yeah, year is so important, right? So important. And we, we can, it, it's, I already have people aware of what's going on. I have some ideas. I'm going to be working with, with a lady which, um, she she plays guitar, and she's closer to uh, European beliefs, which they're brothers. Yeah, Europeans are our brothers, and that's the way it is. They're the Celtic people are our brothers. They they came, it, they're they followed the same laws we did, and and their and their whole natural way. They originally the broad belief is they came from here and went to there. Uh about 8,000 years ago, and, and some during the Ice Age. But they, we believe that they came from America to Europe. Mm. Okay, and, that, and that's also in our legends also. Well, I think it's, it's, as we've said to you, every nation, every tribe, every culture needs to reclaim its story because when it reclaims its story and celebrates through song, through voice, through community,
community, then that is what connects the spirit of the land, of our ancestors, and most importantly, ourselves back together. We're bringing ourselves back together again. Yeah? I agree on that. And also, <laughs> but the time, uh, see, our legend is that all, all, races, all races on all, all tribes will become one. Yep. And that includes the ones which we're fighting because we got to yep. find forgiveness for them and they can't do it again. And this is, this well, is well, let's, let's find something together that makes that uh, a reality in the words and in the form and the process. The process is as important as the end result. But I promise I will come back to you on that and help with that. And okay, I'm going to draw. Yeah. Uh, after four o'clock Eastern time, four thirty Eastern time Friday, I'll be I'll be up until you know you can get me any time, including the middle of the night. You can use the cell, or if if you can get the house, if you can get the cell, either or. And um, after four thirty um, p.m. Friday, I, I'm open. Okay. Well, and, I'll, I'll uh, try and I'll try and certainly over the next week or so. Um, get back to you with something substantial. But thank you again for everything you're doing. Yes, brother, and you be good. And everybody, just remember this: don't don't fear anything, because fear is what they feed upon. If you don't fear, they can't. We win. Ona. That's right. Thank you. All right. Thank you. All right. Another uh, phone phone line question here, Montana. Right there. Yes, hi Terry. This is hi, Dawn. Dawn. Hi. Hi Frank. Hi, how are you going? Good. I'm calling from Montana. Um you were talking about the foreclosure and I'd just like to let you know that each week we have uh, different families coming forward that we're helping. And what we've done before we've gone into court and most of us even went into foreclosure or you know maybe missed one payment. We uh sent out a respitilla with an affidavit, we asked for the securities instrument because on my mortgage it says as a beneficiary for Seawalt certificate holders. And I did the research and sure enough, within three days, mine were um, certificates. They were securitized that quickly from when I signed my um, the mortgage, you know, contract. I did it on the 28th of August and September 1st it was already in the security pool. So, you know, it's right there in front of you. So what we did is we sent a, a respitilla with an affidavit asking for these security documents, asking for co- um, all these copies, the SEC rules, uh, everything that, you know, master servicing pool. I mean, it's like 17 pages uh, yep. that you can't miss it. Then what we did was we reca- reconveyed the property, and we also quick claimed the property to a trust. Then we yep. revoked their power of attorney. Yep. Also, along with the respitil, we revoked their power of attorney. Then what we have found is we did an invalid trustee sale before they did the trustee sale. So, you know, you better not do that because we're asking for the trust document, the T1 document, showing that you are the trustee under the security agreement. And so it's causing them some problems in that we don't hear anything. And um, and then on top of it, uh, we've defaulted them because they refused to answer not once, twice, but three times on the county record. Good. Um, Good. And so because it's like we've asked you, you didn't perform. We asked you again, you did not perform. So I've been having the people put these documents on the county record, and literally I had a guy come last week. We got these documents really quick before they had a foreclosure auction this week. The bank yep. got them. We sent them out Friday. The bank got them Friday. Uh, we sent them out Thursday afternoon. The bank got them Friday, Monday. He got three different phone calls. Uh, your auction has been canceled. And I live on a non-judicial state so that they just sell at the courthouse steps. You don't go through a yeah, court yeah. process. Yeah, yeah, I mean, this, exactly. You're dealing in <laughs> Montana and Georgia have a lot in common, yeah, when it comes to foreclosures. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, look, is there any chance, and I really appreciate mm-hmm. the feedback, is there any chance, because as you have heard tonight, and, and it's an issue, people are right in the middle of of, of crisis. If there's any chance to get a copy of how you're doing it so that we can present it, that would be wonderful because, as I said, um, you are proving that taking the right information and ordering it the right way and getting people to 
stand and take account is is able to produce a result. Oh, and they're not going to like it because they see that that county public record stamp on there, and I know they're going, oh crud, these people know what to ask for, they know what they're yeah. demanding, and then they went and put it on the public record that they're demanding it. Now yeah. it's not hidden. And so what I told people, uh, we have an assembly here, and I said, folks, for those of you that aren't in foreclosure or if you're struggling, everybody, we're going to do these. In mass, we've probably sent 25 different families have sent these documents in to the different banks. Oh, excuse me, just one second. Yeah, but there's a, um, a lot Sorry. of folks participating in what Dawn is doing out there, and they're seeing some wonderful success. Uh, yeah, Donna, it, there? yeah. Sorry, my husband. <laughs> I was baking something. My oven went off. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> I, I have banana bars baking. <laughs> and when it comes to men and dessert, you don't mess with the stove. <laughs> no, 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 don't mess with the stove. But look, so, it would be wonderful. To, it'd be wonderful to get a copy, and at the very least, we can get a, a, a. What I'd like to do, if you don't mind, is is to to honour the package of what you're doing is get the package on University of Acadia and then um, look to the knowledge of how we revise some of the, the, the wording on um, the section there on One Heaven, which which I want to replicate onto other sites as well. I'd be so happy so that to. So have choices, yeah. And, and the good thing is, is in some of that documentation, I got handed very, very specific documents for at least the United States they came from a very retired high source of what to ask for. Yep. And um, it has to do with SEC documents and Safe Harbor Act and um, uh, all these different things that these would apply. I don't think they're too happy when they see that you know what to ask for without even doing a securities audit. Yes. And that you put it on the public record, that you're asking for these documents. Now, our county recorder said... Well, you know, you're just uh, sending a letter. And he said, no, 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 no. There's an affidavit that has been sent out with it. And I'd like to change the language on, you know, affidavit. Um, I don't like using that particular word. I don't know if we should make it a statement or, or whatever. But uh, when we pointed that out, then he said, oh, oh, yes, they do have to answer. It is notarized or witnessed. Um, then we can put it on the public record. So, what we did was we cleverly tied in the respatilla with this affidavit, so now <laughs> now the two are tied together and can go on the public record. Does well, that uh, make sense? Yeah, it does. It does. Because it's they famous. normally wouldn't let you yeah. do that with a respatilla letter, but if you tie it in with an affidavit that one speaks of the other and the two together, what makes constitute a legally binding contract along with that as an exhibit. Because of all the things in that, we tied all three together, and it all went on the public record for about two hundred dollars. And now they're, I think they're kind of got their hands tied a little bit. And the reaction was, um, this this um, former classmate asked me last week, "Can you help me? My, they're selling my house, you know, this week." And I said, uh, "Well, we'll do we'll do it." He goes, "You know, I tried working them. They, you know, I even had an offer on the house to sell it. I couldn't get the three attorneys to." Give me a decision for five weeks. And I said, well, of course not. They're treating you like the child that you're acting like. You don't yes. need the permission. We're just going to do this, and let's see what the reaction is. And literally, Friday afternoon they got it. Monday at noon, Montana time, we had their answer. And uh, at least for now, they can't sell the house for another four months. They'd have to start the whole process over again. Good. Well, it's very powerful. I'm sure that there will be a way of replicating the idea into different uh, jurisdictions, even though it may not be referencing, say, the SEC. Uh, as you know, uh, they like to cookie-cut their models of control uh -huh. with different names in different countries. So if you could send a, a zip copy, I would be most appreciative, and I'm sure the listeners would be most appreciative, in that it would help a lot, lot more people and it would certainly help help me in making sure that how we are putting it into action now. See, the canon, it's one thing to do the canons. Mm -hmm. It's another thing to give people a tool now mm -hmm. that they can use now. And that's why I love hearing what you're saying. It's fantastic. Well, I'll tell you how fantastic it is. I had a visit by the FBI saying, you can't send these kind of documents to the bank. 
Really? No. My 